what's swinging gang, what's swinging gang? The new X6M wheels just came in. And when I tell you they beautiful, they gorgeous. Lord, and they super light too. So more, more less rotating mass means quicker takeoffs, quicker zero to 60, and all that good stuff. So stick around guys, like, share, and subscribe to the content because I told you this X6M is gonna be a beast. I'm gonna try to make the world's fastest X6M guys. So stick around. <sighs> gang enough of the boys bs and the shenanigans boom there she is and these are flow forge technology guys so these are flow forge wheels they're forge wheels they're ultra light i mean this is a 22 by 12 look how light this wheel is guys this is a 22 by 12 check this out Well, the box came with it, but that's just how light it is. I can one hand this wheel, guys, easy. And that's a 22 by 12. My factory 20 by 11 on the rear, I caught hell getting it on the car when I took them off to paint the brake calipers. That's just how light these wheels is, guys. And this, the front wheel is a 22 by 10 and a half. Uh, if I can get this box to stay open, hold on, guys. Bear with me here. Well, damn that, but that's the front right here, guys. They are concave staggered, so the rear wheel is deeper than the front wheel, guys. And these are the tires here. I might end up having to go with a 295 on the front instead of a 285. And the rear wheel is gonna be fine. It's a 235, 25, 22. So that'd be perfect for that 12 inch rear wheel. But this front wire might, this front wheel might be a little too skinny. I'm not sure. We'll find out once we get them on the vehicle. And if it is a little too skinny, I'ma ride them jokers to the, to the, to uh, I lose tread. So, you know, I'm not just gonna throw away any money. They'll get rolled just like that. So, I mean, it's a four wheel drive car. They're gonna wear down pretty quick anyways. But these are some super wide tires, guys. And these wheels are gorgeous. Let me know down in the comment, guys, what you think about these wheels. And I'm gonna flip them up so you can see the width difference. So there you go, gang. This so you guys can get a difference of, see the difference on how wide this rear tire is compared to this front tire. I mean, that's ridiculous how wide that rear tire is, guys. You talking about some grip? Man, please, with that four wheel drive, ain't nobody gonna wanna see me. Simple as that. And you can see the concave difference. See the concave on the front versus the concave on the back. It's a little deeper on the back. If I would have went with a 10 inch or a nine and a half up front, the concave would have been more dramatic. Like uh, my other 22s I was doing for the 650. I'm gonna put a picture up here in the link down in the description of what those wheels look like. So you guys can see me ceramic coating those, but I'm definitely gonna ceramic coat these wheels guys before I get the tires put on, because if you know an M car or any type of higher end sport BMW, brake dust is insane, guys. So I definitely gotta ceramic coat these wheels well before I get them mounted in uh, speed balance. And guys, if you're gonna do any type of 
a wheel, tire mounting and balance, use a road force balancer, guys. You know, so at high speeds, your car isn't shaking around. And what a road force balancer is, once the wheel and tire combo goes on the machine, it's a barrel that comes down and it rides on the wheel to give the wheel the effect of as it was right as it as if it was riding on the road itself that way you can balance it out better because the wheel already thinks that's it, that it's on the road so those road forces will be applied to the wheel therefore giving you a better balancing balance speed balancing guys and I, I do high speeds with these cars so use a road force balancer and I don't know if you guys noticed but check this out something's missing who can tell me what's missing the X6M, the car that I bought these rims for is not in the garage. You know why? Boom, because it's getting wrapped right now. It's gonna be gorgeous, guys, and I'm gonna do a reveal on that when that car comes back. It's definitely at Wraps for Less getting wrapped. They say they're gonna have the car for three days, guys. So as soon as that car, as soon as uh, the, I'm ready to pick that car up, guys, I'm gonna throw a video out there, and we're gonna go over and pick it up and do a beautiful, beautiful out in the sunny daylight of Florida uh reveal for that car but uh i just want to give you guys another quick walk around to these wheels like look how big that back lip is now look at that look guys that lip is huge i mean you could act like if i was a short guy i could actually sit inside the back of that wheel matter of fact i'm gonna get a hold on guys i'm gonna get a tape measure so you can see this okay now this front wheel guys like they said, the, the, I mean, the back spacing on there, well, the back, the rear lip on there is about a 10. And this one here is an 11. That's ridiculous. That's an 11 inch wide. So if this was a three piece wheel, like a 4G Auto, like I did on the 650, oh my God, the staggered concave would be crazy stupid through the roof. You know, but that wasn't the look I was going for for this car. This truck is going on the track. It's gonna be a track car as well as a around town car. You know, Millennium Mall shopping car, Valet the Beast car. You know, it's gonna be an all around car, guys. But I'm not going for that luxury car show. You know, 28 inch floaters, candy paint. That's not the design I'm going for on this on this car. There's no way I'm finna tune a thousand crank horsepower out of this X6M and then put 28 inch rims on it. For what? I mean, I just threw away 10 grand on turbos and methanol injection and transmission bills and stuff. You know, so I'm not doing that to this car. You know, if, if you guys want to see that, stay tuned for the dually. The dually, can, the, uh, my future dually truck on my build. You know, 30 inch dually wheels, can, uh, beautiful candy paint. You know, uh, 10 inch lift on top of the, uh, well, 8 inch lift on top of the air suspension. You know, to do a full 10 inch to 11 lift. You know, I, I got that planned for the future, guys. So if you want to see all of the stuff I have planned for these cars, guys, you know, definitely like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And you can see that content you know if you like the content guys please subscribe i'm gonna get out of here get these things ceramic coated i would ceramic coat it on film but i already have a video showing how to ceramic coat those i'm gonna put that video down in the link in the description also and i'm also gonna put a link for the store where i ordered these wheels from guys and you know be on the lookout next video should be me picking up the x6m i'm not sure or not depends on everything go go good but get ready for that baby she's gonna be gorgeous especially with these super staggered wheels on them so thank you guys very much be safe like share and subscribe to the channel and have a good one gang